So a few months ago, something piqued the interest of the Animal Crossing community. Supposedly, information about the next Animal Crossing game was leaked onto the internet. And so of course, this caused quite a stir and got a lot of discussion. Lots of videos were made about this, lots of tweets and such. But there had always been a lot of skepticism around these leaks, as there generally is with all Nintendo leaks. So today, I've decided to revisit these leaks and give you more of my thoughts on whether I think they're actually real or not. But I think you can probably tell by the title of the video that I am very, very skeptical. Now, just to be clear, I don't mean any insult to N. Weedle, who is the one who originally shared these over on Twitter. Maybe they are completely right about these. And come 2026, I'll be eating my words because I was totally wrong in this video. I would be more than happy to be wrong in this scenario. But I have to say, I genuinely do not believe these to be true whatsoever. Whilst N. Weedle does seem to have some fairly accurate leaks in the past, overall in the leaker community they are not considered a reliable source. And I have seen other more reliable leakers share that they do not think these Animal Crossing leaks are true whatsoever. But for a moment, let's put all of that aside and play devil's advocate and say, okay, well what if they are true? Well, let's take a look at some of the content of this leak. Supposedly, this will be called Animal Crossing Ultimate. It'll be the ultimate version. You'll be able to move around controlling vehicles, have a large city with skyscrapers, adventure missions, puzzles, and mini games, more collaborative multiplayer, and it'll release in 2026. Now, I'm gonna start off with the very end bit, which is the date. There is almost no way that anyone would know something like this this early on. Now, if someone was leaking that a new Animal Crossing game was going to be announced in an upcoming Nintendo Direct, then that would be much more likely in my opinion. But it's so impossible to believe that they would have this information from Nintendo so far in advance when Nintendo is probably the most secretive company out there. If the game is releasing in 2026, then it's not like it could have been leaked by maybe like translators or marketers or something like that, because the game would still be so far off that they're working on it actively. But taking a look at some of the concepts shared here, it very much just feels like a fan-made wish list. Things like the mini games and such is something so many Animal Crossing fans have been asking for, so that feels like a safe bet to try and get people excited. More collaborative multiplayer, once again, that's something people have been asking for in New Horizons. And as for moving around controlling vehicles and having a large city with skyscrapers, I just can't see that in an Animal Crossing game. Now, whilst it is true that New Horizons did change things a lot by adding new features like terraforming and such, I don't think they would go this far. If you look at the city in Animal Crossing City Folk, then it's more like a plaza rather than a fully fledged city, so I can't imagine them going any further than that. They share some other concepts as well, like a new monetary system, a large shopping center where you can have your own store and sell your designs to other users. I can kind of believe some of these ideas, but again, they just feel like very safe bets. I feel like the leaker in this case could just say, oh, well, I was half right about some of these things when it actually does get released. Like, a new monetary system is basically a given. It's been in all of the latest Animal Crossing games, like the cat coupons in New Leaf and Nook Miles in New Horizons. So, yeah, I mean, anyone could really guess that. And at the end, they also mention a separate city completely online to interact with connected users with a bunch of mini games and things like that. Again, I really doubt Nintendo would do this. They kind of moved more away from that in New Horizons. But once again, it feels very much like a fan wish list rather than something Nintendo would actually be working on. I guess you could argue that maybe people wouldn't have believed things like terraforming were going to be in New Horizons. I think it's also important to remember that Animal Crossing New Horizons did not leak at all, despite the fact that the game was in development since after New Leaf, so I don't see why this game would. As I said, Nintendo is very secretive and I honestly think this is a good thing. As fun as it can be to discuss these leaks sometimes, you've got to admit it's much more exciting to get surprised by Nintendo during a Nintendo Direct. It's like this latest Nintendo Direct where people expected so little but we got some really cool games. I genuinely could see an Animal Crossing game releasing in 2026, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility, but I most certainly do not believe it'll be this supposed leaked Animal Crossing game, it'll be something different. And unless literally all of these concepts make it into the next game, then I do not believe this. Like I said, some of these were very easy to guess, like a new monetary system, so I don't see how they can be called leaks. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below though, I'd love to hear. If you made it to the end, be sure to comment Bob's Gang so I know you did. If you enjoyed, leave a like and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more.